Fusion Acquisition Corp. SPAC warrants. That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video coming up. I am not a financial advisor. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Learn to invest like a wolf at your own risk. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Wolves of Investing. My name is Donnie Nguyen and I'm the founder of Wolves of Investing. If you're new, my channel is primarily about investing in the stock market. If you wanna learn how to achieve financial freedom through investing, be sure to click on that subscribe button and notification bell if you haven't yet. All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about the Fusion Acquisition Corp SPAC stock warrants. And this is a SPAC that's focused on FinTech. Their closing price at the time that I made this video was 90 cents per warrant. I am currently invested in these warrants and I'm gonna talk about why I'm in this trade. And I'm also gonna talk about the risks. All right, so first I wanna talk a little bit about my position sizing, the reason behind my position sizing, and a little bit about the risk. So these warrants are listed as Fuse Plus on TD Ameritrade. I currently have $350 invested at 70 cents per warrant for a total of 500 warrants. And this is a very high risk trade. I could easily lose 50% or more of my capital and these warrants could expire worthless. So it's not like my long-term investments. It's not like the S&P 500 where I can just dump a ton of money into the S&P. And even if the S&P 500 drops 50%, I can just dump more money into it as long as I've got 10 or 15 years of investing left. If these stock warrants expire worthless, they are gone, they're zero forever. So this is a very high risk trade. So in order to mitigate that risk, I'm currently investing no more than 1% of my capital. I may scale this up a little bit, but I do plan to keep these trades to be a very small part of my portfolio. Next, let's talk about why I like this SPAC. The first reason I like this SPAC is for its management team. Jim Ross is the non-executive chairman and a senior advisor to State Street since May 2020. Executive Vice President of SSGA from 2013 to 2020. Chairman of the Global Spider ETF business from 2016 to 2020. Global Head of the Spider business from 2012 to 2016. Responsible for all aspects of the Spider business, including profit and loss management, product innovation, sales, and marketing. Numerous executive positions, such as Director and Chairman of the Board for State Street Global Advisors Funds Management and SSGA's Registered Investment Advisor from 2012 to 2020. Member of SSGA's Executive Management Group as well as SSGA's Global Product Committee from 2015 to 2020 and 2009 to 2020. Responsible for leading SSGA's engagement with ETF stakeholders, including regulators, mutual fund and ETF board of directors, industry associations, key clients, partners, and the media. And here on State Street's website, Jim Ross, Spider Chairman and ETF Innovator to Retire. Ross, who joined State Street in 1992, was instrumental in creating, developing, and bringing to market many of the world's first ETFs, earning him the moniker, the godfather of ETFs. The product grew from inception in 1993 when SPY was launched on the American Stock Exchange to an industry that today stands at almost $6 trillion worldwide and is still one of the fastest growing investment products in the market. Without question, Jim has been one of the most influential figures in the investment management industry. His role in creating many of the world's first ETFs ensures he will go down in history as an instrumental player in perhaps the most important product innovation the industry has seen. The ETF today provides a vital diversified investment product for investors across the spectrum and for that we and the industry owe Jim a great deal. Jim's contribution to the history of financial services is irrefutable. He is a titan who has played a key role in enabling institutional and individual investors to invest in new and unique manners with greater precision of exposures and liquidity. We are extremely proud of his accomplishments in helping to create many of the world's first ETFs.
All right, so the next reason I like this trade is because the warrants are currently trading under $1. And I think that they could hit $2 in less than one year. So to get 100% return on my investment in less than one year would be pretty incredible. And the reason I think that is because I'm comparing this trade to another trade that I just recently made that made me 100% in one month. And that trade was with LF Capital Acquisition Corp warrants. And their SPAC had a very similar story. And they had a really solid management team in the financial industry. As you can see here, I made a very small trade on August 3rd in the 60 cent range for these warrants. And then I got out of that trade on August 31st for $1.65. So in less than one month, I made over 100% return on my investment in this particular trade. All right, so now I'd like to talk a little bit about the risks. The first risk, of course, is that a warrant can expire worthless if no deal is made. So I can lose 100% of my capital. I'm not too worried about this particular risk because most SPACs are actually getting their deals through. And the SPAC management teams have a huge monetary incentive to get a deal done. Okay, so the next risk is that the merger target could be a dud. And if they do pick a company that investors don't like, the warrants can drop 50% or more. Just because they have a great management team does not necessarily mean that they're gonna find this awesome company that investors are gonna shoot to the moon. And the final risk that I don't hear a lot of people talking about is that we could potentially be in a bubble. And I'm not talking about general market bubble, I'm, I'm talking specifically about SPACs. At the time I'm making this video, there's approximately 100 to 150 SPACs that are in their searching phase. And there are new SPACs filing pretty much every day. I'm predicting by the end of next year that we could have 300 or more SPACs in their searching phase. So it's kind of hard to say, are we in a bubble or not? And oftentimes you don't know you're in a bubble until it bursts and you lose all your money. So this is a real risk. And if we are in a bubble, it could burst at any time. All right, so tell me what you think about the fees warrants. What do you think about this trade? I'm really interested in hearing your opinions and thoughts about this particular trade. Drop me a line in the comment box and be sure to leave a like on this video before leaving. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.